Guess what everybody, I'm here! I know it's been like three or four weeks and you probably all thought I'd packed up and left home but I didn't. I'm right here and I have got a cute little video for yo. So as always I have um, prepped my nails by cleansing them with my sanitizer, I have pushed back the cuticles, I have etched them, I have cleaned around the nail plate, plate, blah, 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 plate with my cuticle bit um, and I am applying my forms and then I will go in with dehydrator and primer. So I know you would have all probably forgotten about me by now and I know that you know that I was busy but I am trying to make more time. I am no longer at the salon so I am just working from home alone um, because too much is too much and to be quite honest it's no more lucrative working in the salon than it is working by myself so you know whatever um so anyway i have just gone in with my primer and my dehydrator and now i am going to go in with ibiza sunset from cjp so i'm going straight in with that this lady has bitten all of her nails down so i am sculpting these um i've just picked up my bead and i've started near the free edge and i'm just going to pat it out until i have got my shape and then i will go in with a second bead and then i will cap this nail as well. I do want to take the opportunity to say hi to all my new subscribers who have subscribed to me even though I have been missing in action for the last three weeks. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. But I will be uploading more videos. Um, I am hoping to buy a new practice hand as well so then I can play with that um, and hopefully I should have some new glitter soon. So we will incorporate them somewhere as well. Um, and I want to do some funky designs. So, you know, this is quite funky. I enjoyed this set. I really did. Because I'm sick over the last few weeks of doing just ombre and plain nails. Nude nails and ombre nails. That is pretty much all I've done. Um, but this set was like, oh yay, I'd like to do that. It was one of them sets. I got quite excited about it. So yeah so i've just gone in top on top of the ib for someone set with some shards which i believe were from the glitter planet um i don't know what color they are i just know that they are little shards <laughs> and yeah that's all i've got right now um but they are super cute and they go over and anything and look just awesome um the next nail I have gone in with Ibiza Sunset at the free edge and then at the um, cuticle end I am going to go in with watermelon and ombre that up and then I will also cap that nail. So near the cuticle I place my bead quite close but not right right up to it and then I just press my bead down which will butt it up to the um, cuticle and then I pull the excess down and there's all I do with that. Um, yeah just try and keep your brush behind the bead rather than on the bead because otherwise it goes all messy. You can see them little scraggly bits in my brush as well very annoying very very annoying this is a brand new brush it was from the glitter planet it is the aqua brush and i decided that i was going to get some acrylic stuck into it and i tried to clean it out with a cuticle pusher and it just had little turny up bits in it all of a sudden and now i can't get them down i don't want to cut them off but they are really annoying me so i'm going to have to do something with it don't know what yet not decided so i'm just going to leave them there to annoy me until i've decided so on this nail I've gone in again, it does seem quite boring this, um, but I've gone in again with Ibiza Sunset, it's going to be a full nail and then it's going to have the shards again so it's exactly the same um, and then the next nail will be Ibiza Sunset on its own and the thumb will be an ombre. So I'm just going to leave that with you for a minute and then I will be right back.
super fun to add that when I pick up these shards I am first picking up um, a small bead of clear acrylic to help them stick um, and to yeah just get them to adhere because otherwise they'd just stick to my brush as you can see and then once I've finished doing that I will pick up another bead of clear acrylic and cap that off uh, making sure that all of my shards are matte so then when I file I don't file them away um, the key is with this as well not to get any air bubbles is to try not to play with it too much so just pat it down as quickly as you can um, and pull it down to the edge if you can do it in one bead it usually is much better um, but Liz Guild has got quite a lot of videos on how to cap something like that um, pretty easily so I'd go watch her she's pretty good I am coming in with my thumb with my first bead already placed unfortunately we was out of shot um, and I didn't think you wanted to see me out of shot again because there's plenty of videos of me showing you how to be out of shot because <laughs> that's what I do all the time so yeah I just cropped that and I have come back in so this is just another Ibiza sunset with watermelon at the cuticle ombre over and then capped off and then we will get to the crystals and the flowers um, and we will finish these nails off So now all that's done, what we're going to do is go in and do some filing. So I'm going to file down the side walls and the free edge of all of my nails. First, it is a new thing that I've started to do. I just find it more uniform and easier to keep all the shape um, exactly the same across the board. So I do all the side walls, free edges, and then I will go and contour all of the nails. So I like to do all 10, all 10, all 10. Don't know why I started doing it this way, but it seems to be quicker for me. It is just my way. It's not necessarily the right way. Um, and I do like to use a sharper file when I am doing the free edge in the side walls and then I use one that's a little bit softer for contouring around near the cuticle so it's easier than just keep swapping files over I just do all of the free edges with the sharp file and then I'll put that down and swap it over for um, a softer one for near the free edge and uh, for near the cuticle sorry and there you go and contour around them to make them all right okay okay so there you go So I'm not going to show you the contouring of all the nails because that's just a little bit tedious if you ask me. So I'm going to skip to the thumb, okay? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to skip to the thumb and then you don't have to watch it because why would you want to? I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so now that's all done, I'm going to come in with some Swarovski crystals. Um, I do buy these from Stephen Arnold, which is a big wholesaler. Um, I'm sure you can find them online. I am just going to apply a tiny dot of glipper. Glipper? What the hell is glipper? Gripper glue from CJP. Um, and then I'm just going to place them around the pointer finger, um, just sort of sort of half moon kind of deal and I'm going to do the same on the other hand and then on the ring finger I am going to put some little rosies not roses lies 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 I'm going to put some flowers okay I'm going to double dip some flowers and it'll be great I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore I'm so sleepy Okay, so to do my flowers, I have just picked up a small bead of white and dipped it into the Ibiza Sunset. I'm going to place down three beads because I'm getting brave. You know what I'm saying? Getting brave. Um, and then I'll go back to the first bead that I have placed and I will press into that and make it into a nice petal shape. And I will go around in the order in which I place them. Um, uh, there's not really a lot I can say about this that other part from that one's really awkward because I could never get that one without twisting someone's finger right off um, but yeah I'm just gonna place my um, petals down and press into them this brush is um, a size 5 it's just a 3d brush and it is from the glitter planet UK it's awesome it's the best it, i love using this brush it's just so good um but yeah i will leave a link for that and then once i have finished placing my petals i'm going to top coat and i'm going to leave you to it you will see some pretty pictures and some videos at the end hopefully you did enjoy this video i know i waffle an awful lot of tosh sometimes but whatever that's me um but if you did enjoy, please hit the subscribe button and the little notification and you will get notified when I put up another video. Yes, you will. Yes, and it'll be great. Okay, so I'll do that and I will see you again soon. Thank you all for watching. Love you all. Bye.